Hi right, guys, Thaddeus here with a guide for you today and this is going to be all about builds. Uh, what a build is is basically putting together two things out of your hero panel. That's going to be your equipment, everything on your equipment tab and then on your masteries tab or your, not your masteries, your specializations tab. It's going to be three slots in the specialization tab where you're going to choose three um, of the specializations you have unlocked and then your going to pick the different skills in there to put together a build that's going to make you the most effective as possible and we'll be starting here on the Hardstuck website and because I think this is a great way to start um, for getting into having options for open world as well as having options for the um, PvP and then also the end game group content We'll look at a ranger today and we will look at the ranger we'll just look at the pve stuff for raids and strikes and we'll just look at our um we'll look at a conditioned soul beast here and then we'll compare this to the other website that i have for us but we'll start here with this um it's going to give you the conditioned soul beast and this is going to be in those hero panel with those specializations you're going to be using skirmishing wilderness survival and then soul beast as your elite specialization and this is going to go ahead and give you the breakdown of the best skills that are going to be optimized for you you can kind of go through these read them and pick stuff that's going to give you a build and if you read all the stuff and you can kind of put together something that's going to make sense but what this does for you is give you the optimized um, layout for you to use so you can come here and and uh, cheat off someone else's homework here they've all tested these out and these are the best you can do here giving you the best possible damage output that you can do and then you're gonna come over and this will be inside of your equipment tab you'll see that the armor the different you're using vipers this is a condition build so vipers down the line and then you're always gonna have six of the same um, of these runes in your equipment. This one's using the rune of thorns and all six pieces. It's going to tell you the food that you should be using to give you um, the best boost to your damage because this is a damage build here and if you're going to have those uh, infusions this is the infusions that you can add to your gear and then it'll give you two sets of weapons and the sigils that you should apply to them just to um, give yourself that optimized build here so we have our equipment on this side everything that you need to have your equipment panel done and then this one's your specializations tab is all here this is your weapon what it'll look like with the weapons and then the utility bar is set up this way for you it tells you all the skills you need to have in your utility bar and then with a ranger here you're going to get the pets you're going to have the pet both pets that you can do and then you can copy and paste this into your game so it makes that a little easier and then it's gonna have a breakdown for you kinda giving you all the different things that breakdown of the skills telling you what what they are and um, how you can use them the most effectively when you want to use them stuff like that and it's gonna give you a couple of different variations you got a couple of different variations here um, kinda giving you some um, if you want to change things up a little bit depending on what you're doing and then it's going to give you a build fundamentals letting you know exactly um, what you're doing why you're doing it some of that stuff and on the side over here is going to be a rotation this is going to be something that you can practice on the golem if you really want to make sure you're doing the um, best you possibly can be doing by following these um, stuff here so it gives you the build and then it gives you a way to implement it. it shows you the best possible way to be doing it on um, while you're in these um, groups as well so you can go in there and practice this on the column and then we go into the groups you're ready to do stuff effectively um, while you're in the groups and then it's going to give you also a breakdown here of the crowd control very important when you get to that group content and then it's going to have a couple of different things for you um, alternatives if you need more CC or whatever you need you can kind of switch some stuff around so this is going to be the hard stuck website that I really like for um, not only the 
instance stuff but this one if you want to go back into ranger we can see this website also has stuff if you want to go into pvp or if you want to go into the open world and really um some that just got added here that's really cool is the booster build so if you use one of those level 80 boosters and you get that celestial gear and you want to know a, a build that you can put together to start playing at level 80 with your boosted gear they've got that for you here and this is very good to get you started once you boost to level 80 you can if you just want to run full celestial gear in the open world it gives you a breakdown just like the other one of how that's going to work for you so very handy because this one has not only the pve endgame stuff it also has stuff for um, open world and you can see here pvp as well this is just a breakdown of the pvp stuff that's a whole different ball game than <laughs> some of the other stuff so this is the hardstuck website love this for um a lot of information here and especially the fact they have these open world builds and well as the pvp builds if you want to go into the real minutia of the high-end end game builds then lucky noobs here is where i would suggest coming to for this this is going to be geared all towards the raids um, end game content this is nothing this doesn't really have much for the open world or anything like that but what it does have is builds we'll look at the same thing here or ranger and condition it's going to give you not only a breakdown of the things it's going to tell you the bosses in the raids that you're going to be very effective against effective medium and the ones that you're going to be less effective against so this is being geared towards that um, end game stuff and then game PVE raid stuff is showing you your equipment a little breakdown of that tells you your armor that you're going to want to be using here it's a little different but a lot of the same stuff you can see vipers a little sinister here uh, mostly vipers with that sinister there here's your runes this one's got the infusions if you want to have that condition plus agony resistance your jade bot both weapon sets you want to be using gives you what your hero panel is going to look like if all that equipment that you have on there is going to be ascended and or legendary this is what your hero panel is going to look like and then the food you want to use and then if there's ascended food drop this is the ascended food you're going to want to use and then you'll have um, the breakdown for the traits that you're going to want to select in your specializations and then your utility bar then it's going to have a a um, little bit of a variant here for you but your rotation it's gonna have two different rotations for you so you can see dagger dagger and then axe torch two different builds that you can use and then it also has the openers in written form like the other website but it's gonna have a video for you so you can watch somebody um, doing this on the golem so you can kinda see exactly how it's done if you're struggling it'll give you a visual on uh, seeing what it, what it's done what it looks like in practice um, very helpful for me I find these to be really cool to try and see if you can get around get the rotation down like these guys who are uh, top-notch players so kinda cool to see it done on video more tips down here and then uh, you can just see a video of them playing um, in one of the things so if you're looking to do the end game at the high end level or really optimize stuff, um, I suggest this Lucky Noobs website. But um, in general, I think Hardstuck's a great place to start, especially if you're uh, got a new level 80 and you want to get some um, a good build to use that gear that you boosted into. That celestial gear, great place here, and this one also has that PvP stuff. So, depending on what you're looking for here, this is going to be the two websites that I use to get builds going so that. When you're joining into endgame content or room around the, the open world, you can do so um, just in the best possible way. You can have the gear that's going to give you the best stats, and you can have the um, the build that's going to give you the best stats with your traits selected. So getting into level 80, this is a great step for you. Thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more videos. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.